Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at question two, a real little tricky one, this one. The Venn diagram shows three events, A, B and C, and their associated probabilities. Events B and C are mutually exclusive. Events A and C are independent. Show your workings, find the value of X, the value of Y and the value of Z. OK, so first of all, let's use this first piece of information here that B and C are mutually exclusive. Now, if B and C are mutually exclusive, then the overlap between B and C must be equal to zero. So therefore, X must equal zero. And that's because the two events, B and C, are mutually exclusive. Now we move on to the next uh, little piece of information. Events A and C are independent. So what that means is that the two events should follow this rule. The probability of A and C is equal to the probability of A times the probability of C. OK, so let's work out what the probability of A and C is. That's just going to be the overlap of events A and C. So that's going to be Z. Now, here's where this little question is very tricky. Now, we need to work out the probability of A. And the way that I'm going to work out the probability of A, I'm just going to delete these markings here, is by working out the probability of all of inside section A. Now, that's going to be a little bit difficult to work out because I've got two unknown letters there. Could I work it out in a different way? Well, yes, I could, because what I could do is I could work out the probability of A by doing 1 minus all of these other probabilities that are around the question. So I'm just going to, on the side here, work out what the probability of A is going to be equal to. The probability of A is going to be equal to 1 minus, let's take away everything else, 0 0.3, 0 0.39, and 0 0.06. And that will give us, when we put that into our calculator, uh, the probability of A is 0 0.25. So, coming back to this part of the question here, 0.25 will be the probability for A, and then we're going to multiply that by the probability of C, which is going to be everything inside the C circle. So X, we know that's zero. So this is just going to be, there's not much we can do here. We can't use the same strategy as before, because then that would leave us with a Y in this question. So it's just going to be um, 0.39 add Z. That's the probability of C. Okay, I'm going to skip down to underneath here now. Now, what I've got here, let's just rewrite it out. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll expand the brackets. So 0 0.25 times 0 0.39, that will give us 0 0.0975. And then add, expand the brackets with the Z as well, 0 0.25Z. Let's now move the 0.25z onto the other side, so minus 0.25z onto the other side, and we'll get 0.75z equals 0.0975. And now we'll divide both sides by 0.75. So therefore, z is going to equal 0.0975 divided by 0.75 gives us 0.13. So the value of z is 0.13. So we're very nearly there. We've got two of our variables so far. Now we need, just need to work out what y is equal to. Now we know the probability of a is equal to the pro, equal to 0.25. So therefore y must equal, uh, take away 0.10, that'll be 0.15 now. Take away 0.13, that would be down to 0.02. So there we are. That's the answer for uh, this question here worth uh, five marks in total. They're a real little tricky question, this one. Uh, very well done if you've got this one. Hopefully it's made sense as I've explained it. There we are. That's five marks for this question. Let's now move on to question three.